We're here with Brian Metro from Alinghi Red Bull Racing. You are trimming on forward side of the AC75 today. So yesterday you practiced a lot of roundups and bearaways, and today you put those in maneuvers into practice with lots of laps on a short course. Is the focus on mark roundings and also maybe ley lines coming off your performance in Jeddah? Uh, it's a bit part of the learning that we had in Jeddah, and sure we we want to improve on those uh, those part those rounding uh, with the 75. So it's uh, we focus on that the last few days. So one board versus two board roundings, specifically at the leeward gate. How are you deciding which to choose and how early in advance? Uh, most of the time it's a, a last call just before the, the turn, but I think the two board it's a, a easy maneuver. So when you we are a bit sharp on the line or. When it's a bit too breezy, it's yeah, easier to go with two board. So it's a maneuver based on confidence? Confidence and uh, lay line. So what's the trick to rounding with one board down without losing grip? Uh, it's to uh, to keep the board flat, uh, the foil uh, in the water. And uh, there is a lot of thing to do with the cant and also with the, the sail trim, so we're learning. And how are you working on your link controls to help you with these maneuvers? Uh, we're working with that uh, every day. We are the yeah, we st I would say that we just start using the, the link and everything we can do with that, so it's learning every day. Is there no limit to refining link controls? No, I think we can push it really far, so it's an in interest interesting uh, thing. Well, what's your ultimate goal with when, you come, when it comes to linking controls? Is it a big range of trim options or just making it as simple as possible to trim? Uh, we have to find it and I think we will know, know it with the, the bot one, but the goal is to, uh, to have a bit of uh, automation on the maneuver, on the trim, and exit the maneuver. It's, so it's why we, you, we're using it. Have you got a single button for a safe trim setting, for example, for a mark rounding in stronger winds, let's say? We have a lot of uh, different options. So what, uh, so what would be a, a good mark rounding in terms of cant angle, twist in the sail? Uh, the goal is to be, uh, it's more what, where, yeah, where the boat is after the, the rounding. It's, so it's to, uh, to be able to do sharp turn and keep the speed uh, outside of the the roundup. So in the third stint today when you're practicing your, your mark roundings, uh, you're attacking and jiving around the marks, the wind drop making it more difficult. Would you still go for a JK maneuver, for example, in the light wind? I think it's not an issue to do a, a JK because coming from downwind, you're pretty fast. So just a matter of uh, having the right timing with the ball drop and doing a nice turn. Your maneuvers with, around the windward mark are a bit more touch and go in the light of wind. Yeah. What was going on there? Uh, then we were still uh, sitting with the J4 and uh, the M2, so missing a bit of power to achieve nice maneuver in the, the really light base. Brian, thank you for your time. You're welcome.